Welcome to the Craigslist Buddy version 2 task scheduler tutorial thingy. I'm Teddy, your favorite buddy, and what I'm going to do today is show you how to use a new system quick and easy. Once you're logged into the Craigslist Buddy tool, click on My Tasks, and you'll see a new little interface here. Very similar to the old one, however, my system now allows for you to search anything you search for on Craigslist using Craigslist. And we're just going to narrow down the results with this box, filter out the crap we don't want with that box, decide whether we get an email or a text, and then we can just view the results. So let's get started. Go ahead and click this little link right here, which will automatically open up Craigslist in your area. We're going to type in uh, some sort of search term. Let's try the word toys. So we got all kinds of different toys. None of this matters. We want to do a minimum of, let's say, $5 and a maximum of, let's say, 50 bucks. We want to search the entire post, and we want to see if there's an image in there. That would be helpful. Click the search box. Great. Now we got a bunch more results. Now here's the part that you need to know. Click up in the top bar. And you're going to right click and you're going to choose copy. You're going to go back to the Craigslist Buddy tool and you're going to right click and you're going to choose paste. And then we're going to click view results. Let's see what we get. We have little girls Heelys, toys for sale, wicker magazine basket. I'm pretty sure baskets are nothing that we want. So let's filter out the word basket because I don't want to get an email when I'm looking for toys if it's got a basket in there. I don't know about you. Maybe you're into toy baskets. So now, as you can see, the green means they would send, would send the notice. Normally it would send me an email for the basket, but now it says, hey, basket doesn't work. Let's take that out of there. Um, let's get rid of all of these other results, and let's just find baby toys. So we're going to narrow it down a bit. We're going to go, hey, let's find, see what we can do. We'll put baby in there. So we're searching for baby. So this one doesn't work, this one doesn't work, this one doesn't work. Oh look, there's baby right there, so it would send me an email for that one. So I've got two different kinds of babies. So we've got toy babies, baby Einstein. Um, maybe I hate the whole Einstein thing, so let's just get rid of that. Maybe your kid's smarter than mine. Who knows? Just put a comma between anything you want to search for or anything you want to filter out. And here we go. So now we wouldn't get an email for anything Baby Einstein, but we would get toys. I kind of like this. I say we do it. So I'm going to click I like it. Let's keep it. So here it is. Uh, here's my search. There it is. Uh, email notify means it's going to send me an email and it says when the task was created. If I don't want to do this task any longer, I can just click delete right here and it'll just disappear. Um, let's say I want to make a change. I'll go, you know, maybe we need to be a little bit more specific. These three fields right here, you just simply click on, put a comma in, um, put the word tots in, hit enter, and it's automatically updated. Nothing else to do. Uh, I hope you enjoy uh, using it. That's pretty much all you need to know. Um, I hope uh, you continue to use the Craigslist Buddy service. Still have no desire to ever charge for it. Um, if uh, you need anything, uh, feel free to send me an email anytime. And as some of you may know, I reply pretty quickly. So thanks again for using Craigslist Buddy. I'm Teddy, and I'll talk to you soon.